Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Shelly Geigel with JNS Hobbies and Crafts and today I have a project share for you with an interesting take on uh, the album itself and I'll get to that in just a moment. Now originally I was going to do a tutorial on this but because I had never figured out until I got into it how to actually make the curved in on the edges. I figured I'd spare you, <laughs> but now I do have all my measurements down. So I might use the design of the album in another tutorial, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got going here. So there is no tutorial using the Stamperia chocolate and coffee paper. So this album is quite large. It measures 10 and 3 quarters wide, about 9 and a half tall, and the spine is about 2 and 3 quarters after wrapping. So on this design, I went ahead and I kind of angled the top. I saw the paper in the paper pack, and I thought that'd be kind of cool to make it kind of look like a, a storefront or house. And then what I did was on the inner pages, you can see they're all angled in and protected behind the chipboard, even on this side. So I'm going to take you around. And by the way, this paper is awesome. So since this was such a large album, I ended up using three of the Stamperia Coffee and Chocolate 12 by 12 paper packs. I used a couple of the window frames from the Tim Holtz baseboards. And then what I ended up doing is cutting out the innards so it was just a frame. Of course, I used my basics, the Tyvek and all that. And I used the American Crafts 80 pound 12 by 12 cardstock in this. Over here is one of those Tim Holtz frames. And again, I cut out the insides of these and that just flips open. And then this is a large uh, pocket or tuck. You can get some photo mats in there. And the mats I created are pretty good size. So pretty much I can frame, have some decorated paper framing around my larger photo and you can kind of tuck it on in there. And my photo, I left the white on. So I'll give you an example here. But without the white, it's about a three and a half by five photograph. And then of course I have an extra eighth on each side. So mine are a little bit bigger than that. And then this opens up, it's magnetic. And this place over here is just to place your photographs. You get a couple in there if you have this size or if you're using smaller ones, you know, you can get more in there. There's a large pocket here and I have some photo mats in there. And there's a place right here to plan a photograph if you wanted or embellish it. Over here on page two, this is a magnetic flip. And up here, it just looks like that. And you can place a good size photograph and the same down here. And then we have two flips. And again, you can place your photograph and have it framed with the decorated paper. That's how I do my photo mats is I do use the leftover papers from the paper pack and I create a mat with it so that when I do place a photograph on it, I am still matching in with the paper collection and I get a nice looking frame. This is just a mat and it's also a tuck. So if you wanted to place your photo here, get another. These just close up. Going on to page three, this is just a very large pocket and you can get more photo mats in here than what I did but um, I have some photo mats and just this large spacious pocket. We have the waterfall and this is a magnetic strap to help keep it down and they just flip. And then I put pieces of paper in between to cover up those black little hinges from the black cardstock. And there's a place down here to place a photograph. 
Going on to the next one, here is another one of those baseboard frames and I cut out the middle. And this is just a magnetic closure here. And you could put a photograph here if you wanted and then it would clip down. And then on the inside, all I did here is lift, left this alone so you can just place your photographs. And then there are little, uh, little tuck little pockets on the side. And I, all I did here is I made a little folder and I can place a smaller photograph in here. And I did the same over here, except for this is just a photo mat. Over here we have a large side pocket and there's room to place a photograph over here if you wanted, but I just, and this is a larger mat, and it slides right back in. Coming on over to here we have a magnetic flip and very large space down here to place your photograph. And the same up here when you flip that up. And then here I just have these as flips and I can put some photograph here, photograph here, but these are fold outs. And then we got our pockets in here and then this is just a free floating large picture mat and you can place photos in here. And uh, these are from the collection and I just made folders to place my photographs in there. Coming to the last page, this is a very large flip and if you flip that up, you have a large side pocket to place your photo mats in. Paper was really easy to work with. And then this one folds down and there is another small little pocket for some smaller photos or maybe if you have some tags down in there. And then this is a large flip and we have a large side pocket and of course you can place a photo right there too. And then we have an angled pocket here and it's open-ended so you can get things in and out really easy. And you can also place photograph right on down and of course on these mats and stuff. So you can do something like that or however you want to do it. But that is what I made with this collection. And I do like the paper, of course. The paper was easy. But I ended up really liking the base album with the curve. So I think I'm going to, my next tutorial, I think I'm going to go ahead and share with you how I came about this and how I ended up wrapping it. And I'm going to use a different paper. So I hope you've enjoyed this share. And again, if you do want to follow me on my next tutorial where I do create this, but you want to use the paper, you could. I'm just going to use different paper. And then you can refer back to this to see this video to see how I placed everything. Happy crafting, everybody, and I will see you soon on my next tutorial.